we are installing our custom made uh, hood solar panels that'll fit the profile of the hood. So I've gone ahead and put some uh, PPF on here and then we're gonna go ahead and put our panels on there. So I've laid out some tape around the edge and I'm gonna put some silicone around the body of it and come and put it in place. Now the reason I've got silicone on here is to get it in the place and I'm not going to peel off the tape until it is in place and then this will hold it on meanwhile. I'm gonna leave it there, get the other one set up, and then once they're in, in the right place, I'll pull these back. So I've got my panels uh, loosely in place. They're still only held on by the silicone. The tape has not been pulled off yet. What I've done is uh, taken a caliper, got about 16 millimeters on there, and got an edge, basically. 16 millimeters here, and here, and then here. And just use your judgment. Make it, make it smooth, make it, make it look good. Once we got it there, we're gonna start to lock it down. Now once you got it locked down, I'm gonna go ahead and press on it really well after. Just want it not to move. Now for the final part, take a squeegee or a roller and the panel's locked in now so it's not going to move on us and just take, take some passes at it to get it all, all set down. It. All right, so here we are. If you have any problem spots or you feel like one of the spots is not gonna stay, go ahead and put a clamp on it and lock it down. And then we're gonna send our wiring through here to manage it a little bit. So we're gonna tie it here with a couple zip ties. We're gonna pop this panel off. And we're gonna pop this panel off. Send our wire once it's zip tied here and inside here. And I'm gonna come out here so that your wires are sitting here. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so once you've got your wires here, you're gonna use whatever type of uh, storage device you're gonna use for your battery. So you can either run a car battery, that's basically, you can have your power and ground coming off of a solar controller, or you can run 
the solar controller and then have connectors. For the thing that we're gonna use here is like this little solar generator. We're gonna use these post style adapters. So we're coming off our panel directly and into our post adapters. These already have a controller built in. So it's this figure, number eight.